Hi right, everybody, welcome back to Path of Exile. Uh, and today we're going to be going to uh, whatever Yina told us to do through Sacred Ground. Just starting at the crossroads. Well, it's the dawn of the new day, Mike. Fresh new day. Um, uh, I, I wouldn't call it fresh. I am lagging. Okay, I had a little bit of a lag spike. That was my internet, though. Good job, Mike. Online games. <laughs> what can Video I do? games. Yeah. I just I just stood there taking uh, some enemies. It's okay, Mike. I I understand you were just a little bit, you know, death filled. It's fine. We get like that sometimes. This is why I don't play hardcore, by the way. Because it just like I don't know why my internet does that. It's because it's filthy Canadian internet. Clearly, but then again, yours yours doesn't have much fucking better luck, anyways. No no Google Fiber for you. Soon. 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 TM. Alright, we got an armor scrap to improve quality of armor. We'll get into quality and some other stuff at, at some other point. Oh boy. Oh boy. I actually have nothing to roll that, so... Oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, it, we're literally in like X2. But no, we're, we gotta we gotta get the currency no, to roll we, that. No, we've got to do it for the let's plays, Mike. Oh boy, that was totally worth. Fuck! I should have gotten a th thing. Uh, okay, you're literally wasting all our like early game currency. What's the thing? Yeah, I know. Augmentation. Yeah. Uh, you know, so <laughs> much just dropped when you left, and and there's you... the bad mod. Well, that's actually not bad though. All right, okay. you ready? Yeah, sure. I'm not, I'm not going near that. There right, we go. What kind of pussy? I'm not going near it. It's just an ice nova. What's it gonna do to you? Make ice you a little me. cold. Watch you drop a mirror. Ah, see, there you go. Plus one to level minion gems. Watch you drop a mirror. Yeah, that ain't happening. For anyone who doesn't know, that's like the highest currency you can get in the game. It's like, um, it basically you can duplicate any item that you want. It's very valuable, obviously. Because if you can duplicate well, rare as balls. Duplicate a rare, I should say. Not uniques can't be duplicated because lore wise they're actually already uh, mirror of Calandrid. Uh, they're already mirrored. So that that's why you can't really modify them. It's weird. And it stopped again. You actually, nah, it's fine. It's actually fine. I don't know why it's doing that. I can't do this just yet. I wouldn't question it too much. I was just saying to myself, I'm like, my internet appears to be a little bit like tempering off and doing okay, but no, it's not. That's what you get for thinking. Oh yeah. I heard orb of chance. There it is. Amazing. 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 Hey, it's salad. 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 All right, calm down there. At Mike, I'm 100% calm, alright? I'm not too sure about that. Alright, we are now in the crypt. So, there's two things to do here. One is the little quest line we get here, and also it says you have solved the Trial of Ascendancy. It actually tells you where the trials are when you enter an area. Um, I forgot if it actually popped up with giant text telling me that there was something here. Dude, you're gonna have to break up on all these urns and shit. I don't have any abilities that actually do that. Teach your zombies how to do it. I mean, that'd be amazing if I could do that, but I can't. The zombies are kind of dumb. You can't sunder with a sword, right? Not that, no, not that I know of. Cause I, Maybe I, you can? I just found a fucking... No, I, I know you can't. The answer is no. Just use that lacerate you found. Yeah, I, I just found a good sword, actually. So, yeah, we are going to use lacerate. Even though I, I technically um, don't have good sockets for it, but fuck it. I, I, let's try something else for a little bit. All right. Man. Uh, let's put melee physical on that. And left slam can be somewhere else. I don't know what to do with Sunder. Actually, Ancestral Protector can be here. Sunder, I'll just put on the other thing. Okay, so I rearranged my gem slightly. So now that I have um, melee physical damage and lacerate right here. So here's lacerate. It's just got two little waves there. Uh, what, what other abilities do I have that I want to try with... Swords. Uh, it was mostly axes I was more into. Wait, did Man, I do axes that? axes are alright. Did I fucking just do that? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Everything just died. 
Yeah, I, I don't set things. I oh. have no fire damage, so. All right, that's actually pretty fucking strong. Uh, that's actually better than I thought it would be. It's a little slow because it's early level, but hey. Wow, that is actually pretty legit. Yeah, I didn't think it would be that strong. I'll be honest. Yeah. I actually don't mind last right? Alright, so we're just gonna head through the spike traps. Cause that's good. I, I, I'm trying to take things carefully, Mike, and you're just over here just running through it all. Mike Light does not care about traps. Whoops. I'd, I'd like to disagree with that assertion, actually. This is actually way better than I thought it would be. What the fuck? Fuck, I may actually do a last rate build. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? That, I, I may okay with that that as well, because last rate's pretty legit. I'll be, I'll, I'll be honest, when it comes to me and the, and the melee skills, the ones I don't like are the ones where you actually have to run up to things that actually hit them. The, yeah, but the that one where you can, can just do your little fucking, uh, what is it, wind scar and hit them all. Yeah, what, what wind scar? It's it's an an it's like a early '80s like anime joke. It'll be fine. Somebody will get it in the in the comments. I'm sure. Okay. I mean, at this point, I don't even make these jokes for you because you don't get anything. Come on, no. Inuyasha. Yeah, come on. I, I I've never watched cartoons. You know what? I don't believe that in any way, shape, or form. Ah, uh, never. Ah, there's a new episode of Rick and Morty. I, All right, I, Mike. I never fucking said anything like that. That was you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Whatever right. you say, Mike. Alright, so now we go to Crypt Level 2, uh, and... Holy and yeah, shit, it's dark. The trial's on the first floor somewhere, and then the, the, la the last place is somewhere over here. How's your mana act How's your mana sustain actually doing? I mean, ever since I switched to last raid, it's better now. Well, I'm I mean, I'm also using Rallying Cry and the, uh... What is it? The, uh... Clarity. Yeah. Both of which give him mana regeneration. So, last raid's not bad. Um, I, g I guess it's an AoE ability, right? Yes. So yeah. we'll be affected by the two-handed AoE shit you get, eventually. 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 I mean, it's it's a weird complaint to have, considering it's a melee skill, but it doesn't really have much room clearing potential. <laughs> well, I, should, I mean, if you get a bigger AoE on it, it will. I should try, I should try Frost Blades, though, now. Just, uh, just to show everyone Piss me that. off. Uh, yeah, and that too. That that's uh, that's obviously the main reason to do that. Uh, obviously, you know. It really is. I mean, I, I kind of like crossbites. The, the thing about oh, gold amulet. Uh, the thing about um, uh, this last rate ability is that uh, you can hit something twice because it has like two little things. Uh, you say like range double waves. strike. Yeah. So it's actually good. It's a good like multi-target thing. It's a good single-target thing too. Oh, uh, here we are. All right. We found it, because it's always this little platform here with the stairs. Oh, and there's also this guy here. I can't do this oh, Geoffrey. Oh, no. Never mind. Arbiter. Exactly. Uh, I'm sure one of these will turn into actual currency at some point. Two stone ring, I'll take that. And the rest of it's just trash, so I don't want it. Uh, okay, this might be okay. This ring. It's better than the random coral ring that I have. I mean, it gives resistances, which is a lot of effective life. Right, I'm still using white rings, by the way, so if you have any upgrades, that'd be nice. Yeah, there you go, have a, have a coral ring. Okay. I, I, I literally just found one with mana. It's better than my strength. coral rings, actually, by like three health, so <laughs> good enough. Go. It's an upgrade. All right, let's go talk to Yuna. You are Dream Tender, my new name for you. Badness is everywhere around us. You bring us something good. Now, I promise to share. Let us awaken the spirit. Bring even more good into this life. All right, uh, we got our first reward, and it's actually the jewel sockets. So it's like, do you want elemental damage? Do you want physical damage and armor, or do you want dexterity? I mean. Honestly, none of these are particularly great. I mean, they're good early on, I guess, but I guess I'll take. I mean, that. they can help you fill in some like if you if you know you're low on dexterity, you get that. If you want some armor, get that. I mean, you know, it's it's all right early game. Yeah, I'll just take the armor. 
uh, and the physical damage. And I also take the Book of Regrets that she just gave me. Might as well just use it immediately because, I mean, it's one of those You things. can't put it in your stash. Yep. Actually, I'll maybe give you this amulet. Oh. Right. Is Master right. gonna give Dobby some clothing again? <laughs> I'm a free scion, thank you. Shut the fuck up. You'll take the amulet and you'll like it. All right, let's try. It. Let's give Frostblades a try. Going to the uh, wetlands. Uh, no, it's Act One because that's where all the fucking gems are apparently. What little help I can offer? You. Oh, you gotta get. Oh, you gotta. Okay, never mind. So we can try. Okay, not Viper Strike because that's a single target ability. We want AOE. Heavy Strike, no. Cleave, no. Infernal Blow, no. Puncture, no. That's because that's all single target shit. Whirling Blades is actually a pretty neat movement ability. But we don't really have to do that. Oh, there's Reeve we can do. But it only works with uh, one-handed stuff, so we can't really do that. Oh. That's kind of weird. Why does it actually not appear here? You might not get it, actually. So let me go check to see if I get it. No, I don't get it. You're right. Frost. Oh, no, I do get it. Cars are melee weapon. Did you just skip it? Apparently it just... No, when I typed in sword, it didn't It didn't show up. Oh, well, that's that's fair. You can also do spectral throw. That that one's like, yeah. I mean, it's it's okay actually. I'm I'm, I'm I mean, I might as well. I mean, I have a spectral throw gem, so I mean, because uh, I'm Scion. Yeah, well, fuck you. Oh. Maybe I should do the. Maybe I should take the counterattack ability. It's a. Uh, it's actually a neat one that we can maybe pick up. Where is it? What's it called again? It's a. Uh, Trigger skill when you block, trigger skill when you block. I don't know. Kind of like it's yourself. Oh, there's also Flicker Strike, but that's like a... Oh, I love that ability. Yeah. Oh, you got to use it with Blood Rage, Mike. You got to do it. Yeah. Uh, do it! If Pat wants it, then no. Oh, now I'm... <laughs> You're such a dick. Uh, I mean, we could do Lightning Strike, too, but that's also a very weird one, too. Eh. I don't really like Lightning Strike, but I might get it just to show you guys. You have Blood Rage, right? Uh... No. Also, oh. I, I don't get... Um, yeah, no, I do have it, sorry. Um, also, I don't get the a counter attack gem with the, uh, when you get hit. It's weird. Reckoning? Yeah, I reckon... Is it Reckoning? That's Shield. Those Lord ones are both block. Us. Those were both block ones. Oh well, I, I won't bother with it right now. There's actually a gem vendor later, so I mean, if there's something specific that you want to try, um, or you don't, you want to see everything, uh, we can actually see it later in the game. For now, as I said, just pick what, just probably stick with like whatever the game gives you. I mean, they give you a wide variety of things anyway, so I think it's okay. All right, uh, I guess we're heading to the next Zero area. Lands. root of the problem, oh. which is Pat. It's always Pat. It's always Pat. Did you get Flicker Strike? No. God Oops, damn I didn't you! To drop that. Well, I get Flicker Strike. I don't know if you want that. Wow, this opens nothing. <laughs> All right. Um, so far, I'm very disappointed in the skill. This is the one I was. All you did was attack boxes. I mean, I mean. So this is the one I was gonna originally run, uh, as a as a full build, and then I did this more like flexible. Yeah. So basically, like, you, you, you basically hit things in long range, it gives you, like, a shit ton of weapon range, and then, like, you, uh... Uh... You, you shoot out ice spikes from whatever you hit. Yeah. I mean... They're fairly homing, actually. It's okay. I would say, I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't... Okay, you know, I, it's all, it, it all comes down to personal preference. You may find, like, you like some things better. I mean, last raid I'm also okay with. I think Frostblade is better with a fast attacking weapon like a claw or a one-handed dagger or a sword that you can use with it, and that way you can get a lot of projectiles, you can get a lot of the speed, and you can just be like, whatever. Because you're using big one-handed, like two-handed weapons, which I think is kind of counterintuitive to the Frostblades. I'm going to say... Fuck yourself, no, no. Go flicker myself? Go okay. flicker yourself, yeah. I've never liked anything I like. Sad. I'm sad. It's actually like it's pretty good for like.
clearing the room, but like single target, it's like kind of meh. The thing is though, it does do a lot of damage. I would say it's I almost like it better than than last raid. Cause it has better whoops, I'm not trying to hit that guy. Cause it has way better like clearing potential. I mean it does. Eventually we'll get currency out of that. Eventually. So that guy, by the way, um, he had something called elemental proliferation. When he killed one of my zombies with the lightning damage he was using, it caused all the enemies around the zombie that he killed to be shocked, which makes them take more damage, which I find very interesting that he has that, actually. Just throwing that out there, Mike. <laughs> it's useless, it's fine. We're, we're no, gonna... it, it, it's actually like anti-summoner right there. We don't care about such things. A saber. That's a bad saber. Is it really that bad? Uh, I mean, it's actually not that bad. Let me, let me actually see here. Nope, it does half the DPS of my my big my big ass sword. Oh, we got okay. our first rare box. All right, so for these we can either just open it if we don't care about the mods, which could be dangerous. It could have something like you know that basically fucks us in the face, or we can just you know box explodes. Or we could identify it because that is a, a now let's yellow. No, I just identified it. So there we go. I, I identified it. We can extra suck it. Additional chest level, which is um scales up the level a little bit better because it's usually tied to the level of the area. And uh, you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, Frostblades is pretty good for clearing. I like Frostblades. As I said, I think it scales way better with attack speed, which is kind of, as I said, it's kind of counterintuitive to do big bow, big sword build. I mean, I, I, I'm doing two-handed stuff, so. I know. I'm just saying. I mean, honestly, you'd be my, really good with dual wielding. Honestly, for myself, I kind of wanted to do axes because I really did do axes. I really did like axes the one time I did do them. I mean, maybe? Because it can be used with Sunder and everything. It's great. But I find weird that you can't use a sword with Sunder, but you can use an axe. I don't know. It's, it has to do with the sharpness. Or something. You, a, a sword would be way <laughs> sharper than an axe. Don't start that shit. Fuck you know better sec. than that. Uh, are, are you liking the two, or is it really just me? It's really just you. My Fuck. latency is like a, a flat 16. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting spikes. I mean, it's been acting up this morning, kind of, but whatever. I haven't disconnected yet. Well, that's always a good sign. Come to me, so did you ever explain what your Herald does? Um, I mean, it adds 15% fire damage, and also, um, when I kill stuff, it, whatever the overkill damage, it basically does more, even more damage on top of that. Oh, shit. All the enemies around it. Giant flame blast guys or whatever. Ooh. This could be fun. I could totally activate that essence right now and turn this into a clusterfuck. But I'm not going to do Oh shit, he did it! Why did you do it, Cut? Why? I didn't touch it! Also, you did it right as the guy died. That's just a bitch move then like. I mean you you mentioned it and then I've obviously did it. What would we what did we get as a drop there? Uh, in essence a contempt, it's the low level physical damage one. I mean, I could roll you a ring or something with it if you want. Uh, nah. Dude, it takes like 300 of these to make one of the good ones anyway. It's not like it's like fucking needed. Fine. What are, what are the stats we see, on that one? We... Huh? What are the stats on it? Uh, what to the jury of all... Huh? What, what does it even give you on a ring? Uh, added uh, flat physical damage. Oh, okay. That should be okay. Death oh, I wouldn't mind that on like a, a really nice coral rank, so not one of the ones that you got that's like a low eye level. By the way, eye level kind of matters when you're crafting stuff, I should mention. So like, let's say this sword, if I hold alt, it actually tells you item level 22 as the one of the stats that comes up. Um, so you want it around the level that you're kind of using. Oh, it's us. Well, this can't be good. This can't be good. Pat, what do we do? I don't know. Why didn't you go around it, Mike? Oh, we can't go around it. You gotta go through it. Oh, wow. 
Wait, 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 wait to fucking ruin the joke. So now everything's really fucking dark. Ever since we did that. Man, it's darker. Man, they ripped off Diablo 2. Did this happen in Diablo 2? Yeah, it did. But it wasn't your fault. But they had the darkness. Alright, let's go back to town and just talk to the people. They're gonna yell at us for what we did. Sounds about right. Nothing like this happens until you are here. Bring back the light, or you will find my spear in your throat. Return. You disappear into that vile ruin, and now the sky, the light, the very land limps as a leper. Somehow, whether through deliberate act or accident, you've caused this. Now we all suffer your consequences. Different good, different bad. We now know upon which side the coin has fallen. The end of learning is the beginning. What has happened? Did the world not rise from its sleep? How do we wake it up? Please, what should we do? I dreamed this. A vast creature. A thing of shadow. I saw it escape from a black prison and climb a man-crafted mountain, drifting up its four sheer sides like the mist that reaches for the clouds. It gathered at the peak of that mountain and ate the heart from the sun. You smell of that black mist and something else. Guilt. That is it, yes. Guilt is a strong illness. It gnaws at the spirit until there is nothing left, until you are one of the walking corpses. You want a cure? Find the man-crafted mountain, send the shadow home, and tell the monster to take your guilt with it. There's one bright spot in this darkness you've released. At least it was you who did it, and you can undo it, I know it. Had it been piety, we'd likely never see the sun again. Farewell. All right, well, let's... Oh, Aramie wants to talk, too. For all of her strange ways, I've learned not to discount Gina's more vivid dreams. She's in tune with this land in ways I find difficult to comprehend. As to this man-crafted mountain she describes, I have seen only one structure of its like. Stumbled across sketches in the Theopolis archives, a piece of Val engineering pyramidal in architecture. According to those documents, the pyramid lies north of the Frisian forest, buried beneath the mantle upon which San rests. I have no idea whether it still exists, or ever existed for that matter. Still, considering the current circumstances, there isn't much to lose in the search, is there? Alright, now we're done. Fare you well. Are right. you really though? All right, so, uh, yeah, we 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 fucked up apparently. All right, sounds uh, like you. I like to well, I, I like to think it's not that fucked up. I mean, I did I did touch the thing. So we got our first utility flask. It's a ruby flask. Uh, I would just pick these up and kind of keep them around in your stash. Um, there's different kinds of flasks that give you resistances, and you know, as you may need them at some point. You can't really get them from any other case, so. Oh good, you're not. All right, am I supposed to kill two corrupted monsters? Oh, oh, they're up this way. Are they? Yeah, that's where, that's where she's pointing with her giant green glowy tentacle. Okay, maybe I don't want to fucking go where the tentacle monster wants me to go. I mean, that's probably fair. I was gonna say, let's go to the dread thicket first. By the way, this is completely optional. Something cider. dropped. Oh, what? What dropped? Uh, it's just an orb of chance. Okay, whatever. <laughs> fucking. Hell. I heard the I I heard the wobble up. Okay. I, I already went through here. So this is a completely optional side area. It actually has nothing in here. There's no quest. There's no anything. Uh, I'm kind of just bringing us through here just so we can get every little area out. There's some monkeys in, in here, some other shit. That's just protector requires level 24. I'm now level oh, 24. Oh, well, there you go. Alright, we're still kind of heading on the highway to that fucking Resolute Technique node. Are you on the highway? Highway to hell. Uh, wrong highway, but you know, I mean, not the wrong highway. Yeah, whatever. Fuck you. Ah, another scour. There's a ghost. 
Fuck. I'm trying to hit him. Oh my god, he's resurrecting everything. They eventually go they eventually go away. Oh we got chaos for that, nice. Yep, I was just leading them through everything just to try to get the the buff that the ghost placed on enemies that they go through. They can drop more items to affect a lot of things. Yeah, that's what Pat calls it. All right. Yeah, I'm smart. I got a nice war plate here. Especially not not so bad. Mainly, I'm after like flat life, but a little bit of resistances, a little bit of stats. Never hurts either. All right, this one, this box will just yellow open. That's not even here, so I'll just open it. Hey, hold on, I'm picking things up. Fuck off! There's a lot of fucking items on the ground, which kind of is where like other item filters kind of come into handy. Uh, but hey, you know what? We got an axe here. Oh, you got two rapiers too. I mean, I, I, I'm not doing dual wielding, so there's another war play. What the fuck? So I'm just after like really nice chest pieces, which that one's not so great. Huh. Yeah, that axe does significantly less damage, unfortunately. Oh, Tora. Oh, Tora the Explorer. Ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta-ta, Tora. So we got Hunt on Infected Beasts. Which is actually different than it was last time. Oh. oh. Yeah, those are, um... You didn't... I, I didn't see it actually at first, but they were, um... What are they called again? Oh, bloodlines, yeah. Yeah. We've seen a couple of bloodlines. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff is kind of like, they used to be leagues at some point, and they were kind of, um, like, after the leagues ended. So, like, they used to have a thing where, like, oh, all the magic mobs have, like, an extra dangerous mod on them. So that one was, like, they explode They explode after they die, kind of like, uh, trying to think of another game with a similar effect. I mean, it's, it's, I mean, it's kind of like a video game of staples. Sometimes they explode after they die. I don't know where Pat is, but I don't care. I found the thing. I can't do this just yet. What thing? The thing that Tora wanted us to find. I mean, I found that too. I think. Hey, you know, we're supposed to find 57 of the beasts. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll just uh, continue on my little adventure here. Okay. I don't need you, Pat. That's sad. Anyway, so yeah, I'm that, sad. that was one of the things they did add at some point. Is they added the. Um, uh, basically, it was, um, yeah, so, blue mobs, the, the, the kind of slightly more dangerous mobs have a bunch of fucking, I, I, I'm surprised actually nobody took the basket rapiers. Blue mobs have, like, I believe in traveling light. slightly dangerous mods on them, so that was kind of one of the, the, the neat little leagues that they had at one point. Uh, but, you know. Holy shit. But there's it, thunder down here. There's thunder down here? What? I'm not using Sunder, I forgot. Yeah, you dumb? No. Oh shit. I mean, I have just a sword now, so it's either last raid or this. Oh, fair enough. And both of them are kind of nice, so I don't know. I don't know. The, the, the effects that the Bloodline monsters have can be, like, very varied. Like, they can explode on death, they can drop extra items. Like, the entire pack could have the same item, but with different stats. It's It varies a lot. I believe in traveling light. I can't pick up anything else. I'm gonna have to go back to town and sell my shit. Well, that's what you that's what you get from wanting to go down a side area of all things. <laughs> it happens. There's nothing over here, but Ooh. we're going here anyway. What is this? Yeah. I mean there's Oh Fucking is this it's an exile? It's Minera Anemia. Yeah, it's because it's an exile. Yeah, that's an exile. Shed a bunch of corpses and a sledgehammer. It's well, that was shit. actually kind of weird. Yeah, I mean, this is a little bit different. They had little fucking, like, tents here and shit now. I haven't been down this side passage in quite some time, so it's kind of neat to go down at one, one time, you know? Quite some time. I'm probably going to say, like, four years. I mean, it's just, we, we know it's a side area, and we know you don't have to do it, but we just kind of, I, I decided for the sake of our run, we're going to go through everything, and so I'm like, oh, 